Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make some simple Halloween cookies using a classic sugar cookie recipe, a recipe that rolls out well and cuts shapes well. These are little ghosts and then you see some pumpkins and leaves on my platter there. I'm actually just piping the borders right now. This is with a royal icing, which is meringue powder, powdered sugar, water, and a little bit of clear vanilla extract. And then I'm piping those borders on in a thicker version of the royal icing to hold in the flooding icing, which is the same icing, just thinned out with a little bit of water because you want the flooding portion, which is the portion that covers the major part of your background on your cookie, to be nice and thin so that it smooths around, but also keeps shape. You almost want that the consistency of, I would say, honey. Um, if that makes any sense, or even a little bit thinner than honey. But the borders, you want more like your regular type of buttercream icing to really hold those shapes in. So now I'm going back with that thinner icing I was talking about. So it's a little bit, probably a little thinner than honey. But I pipe it on the general design of the cookie, and then I take a tool and go back and move it around and make sure there's no air bubbles or little pockets of cookies showing through on those designs and shapes. So that tool I'm using is just a fondant tool, but honestly, you could use anything. You could use a toothpick. You could use um, a cake tester, which I've seen a lot of people use, those little small portions. So anything to kind of move around that royal icing so that it sets nice and smooth within the cookie. And then while it's still wet on those pumpkins, I'm going back with a little bit of yellow royal icing just to add a little bit of highlight to the pumpkin because I want that to dry within the orange and I want it to be nice and smooth and flat. Anything that you want to be the same surface, the same flatness, smoothness on the background of the cookie has to be done all while it's still wet before it sets up. So you're going to see me go back on these leaves and do the same thing with a different color to kind of add in some design on that leaf. And actually here I go. It's actually like a tan color and I'm just piping in a few veins, a few lines on those leaves because I want those to kind of mesh down inside the darker brown so it's nice and smooth as it dries. And then once the background dries on all of those, I can go back and do more details that I want to sit up a little further. And now I'm adding a little bit of yellow on the leaves as well. Now the ghost, obviously you're not going to want anything in that background. You want it to be nice and bright and white. So I'm just going to smooth those out and let them sit for several hours, hopefully overnight, before I add extra detail. All right, now I'm going back and those cookies have set about 12 hours without touching them because I really want that background to be nice and dry because the black on that white could really bleed through easily. So when you're going back and adding these fine little details, you want to go back to the thicker consistency of icing that you used in the beginning when you were piping on your borders to these cookies because you want it to stay in place. You don't want it to shift or move around at all or smooth out at all. You want it to stay nice and firm. So use that thicker icing and then go back and just add all your details. Um, on pumpkins, I always like to outline them, add a little design to one of the sections just to make it cuter. And then on the ghost, I didn't add a whole lot. I just put a, you know, a little bit of face on there. And then they're going to hold a banner that says boo, the ghost star. And so that's why I have that black line draped from hand to hand. And then on the leaves, I'm just going back, adding a few more details on the outline there to make it look a little cuter. And then I'll let those sit again for an hour or so and go back and add the rest of the details. Now after the black has set for about an hour, I went back with my thicker consistency yellow and orange and drew on the little flags for the banner. And I used a thicker consistency because it was a small area and I knew I could just move it around with a tool at the end to make it nice and smooth. After it sits for a couple of hours, I went back with an edible ink marker and wrote the letters BOO on the flags. On the pumpkins, they only needed to dry for about 30 minutes or so, and then I went back and added those green leaves, again, in a little bit thicker consistency, and there's the final product. Thanks, and please subscribe. Mm -hmm. 